next wonderful, exciting episode of Spartacus, where you get to see your trivia host really suck at trivia. So joining me today, we have the person who thinks that ice uh, ice mountains in Scandinavia are for George, Josh. <laughs> we have the person who thinks that he's Captain America, Keenan. We have the person who thinks that he's the best fan of, of is it, is it, is it Essendon? Is it, oh, oh, please, it's Richmond. <laughs> Richmond Tigers, come on. <laughs> uh, Daniel. And we have the person who who thinks that he's on the coast but is actually massively, massively in land, Justin. <laughs> so if you haven't uh, seen this before, the rules of uh, Spartacus are really simple. Each one of us gets to ask all the other hosts a question. If the host gets the question right, or they make us really laugh with their answer, they get a point. Every person that gets the question right for the person who asks the question, that person also gets a point unless everybody gets it right, which in case they, the question is way too easy and they weren't being smart to kiss enough. Sounds simple? Hope so, because we're just simple people. But to kick it all off, <laughs> kick it all off, let's, let's get started. You got the countdown music going? And go! Perfect. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. Oh, jazz hands. hands. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Daz and I'm in Canberra. Canberra is uh, well known for many things. It used to be known for fireworks, but we've decided to get rid of those things because they're way too dangerous. Anyway, let me ask our next question. Here it is. The first number one in Australia by an independent artist was called Stay. Who sang it? The first number one by an independent artist in Australia was called Stay. Ten seconds on the clock. Oh, yeah. That's it. Time's up, folks. Oh, okay. Let's start with Captain America. Are you going to save the world with this answer? Well, hopefully, um, there's like when you say stay, um, you just like stay puppy. Puppy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They had a hit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I've um, heard of that band. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, a bit of a dog act, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, there yeah, it is. Yeah, there it right. is. They you are barking cool. up the wrong tree, son. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Justin, what is your answer? So I just thought of a song that was Stay, and I'm thinking maybe back to the 60s. So I went with Richie Vallon and the Four Seasons. Sorry for my writing. Oh, ah, won't you okay. stay? A beautiful falsetto right. of that man, but yeah, lucky your microphone cut out there. Oh, Josh. what a shame! <laughs> You're used to microphones cutting out, aren't you, there, Justin? Yeah, anyway, uh, Josh, Ouch. <laughs> what well, is your answer? I mean, like, I have a very hard time putting artists to song names and whatnot, I usually just listen to it. Um, so I'm Purely going for trying for funny points here. So uh, I'm like the, right. the artist of the first independent artist of the wait. Ah, uh, Prince. Ah, wait. <laughs> sort of the 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 yeah. artist formerly known as the artist of the yeah. Yeah. Do we give him a pity point? No. Maybe. Uh, no. Okay. So. <laughs> Dan, what's your answer? Uh, I panicked as always and. Um... <laughs> With the sporting theme, I always think of big uh, sporting venues. You got the MCG, you got Rod Laver Arena. So I actually just went Tina Arena. That's that's a good oh, venue I enjoy. Uh, yeah. Good capacity crowd. I think when they're socially distanced, they have a Tina Arena. Okay, so I obviously went too smart because none of you got that one right. It was oh. Lisa Loeb with the song "Stay." Uh, you know, because you say. You only hear what I want to. Oh, That's yeah. all I'm going to do with that song. Yeah. Stay. First independent number one in Australia. <laughs> but okay. obviously I suck. So let's now <laughs> throw to Dan. Alrighty, guys. We are looking at 
Another question. Uh, I come to you, as you know, from all the venues here in Melbourne, but I'm going to Tinseltown for a second uh, for our next uh, sort of question. It reads a bit like this. What event was held at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel on May 16, 1929? What event was held at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel on May 16, 1929? What event do you think was held there? Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. I liked the questions last week. That was way better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's bring those guys back. They were much funnier. <laughs> 10 seconds. Um, what about what's held there? Maybe Lisa Lower wins this one. You never know. <laughs> We might end up with a nil or round. Uh, All right, time's up, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Gentlemen, I mean. We'll start with timekeeper Justin. Uh, What did you go for? Okay, so I went for the first ever Golden Globes. Mm. Good stuff. Uh, Keenan? Oh, hang on. I'm not cheating. I just mistyped. It's all right. We'll come back to Keenan. I thought it was (laughs) the... The Boogie Boogie Bugle Boy Day. Oh, oh of course, famous day night. That was big in 1929. Yes. Well, <laughs> from from what I recall. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Josh, what are you thinking? Well, I I'm not a very big history buff, um, so I draw a cow. A cow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Or don't. Oh, don't. It's gone now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Daz, bring it home with something. Okay, I do like where Keenan was heading. Oh, no. But I wonder if he was a little early considering the Golden Globes were all oh, TV. So um, <laughs> I went with the first Oscars. Oh, first Oscars. <laughs> Correct answer is the Academy Awards or the Oscars. Jazz oh, jokes woo. gets it. Okay. Yeah. Both Dan and myself are off the scoreboard. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Excellent. Alrighty. So what about you, Cap? What question do you have for us, Keith? Oh, okay. So, of course, obviously, uh, Captain America, otherwise AKA, or also known as uh, Keenan from Brisbane. Um, yes, I, a little bit known about me, um, I got a gold medal in competitive crocheting, um, yes, um, talk to me about that later. Did you crochet that hat? Uh, (laughs) no, no, this is just a swim cap that I cut a couple of holes in and, uh, yeah, just pull it down really, really tight with a little bit of powder, um, but yeah, (laughs) um, okay, talk about sports, let's talk about sports, um, what year? What year was the first Olympic Games televised? What Ooh, year? Televised. Televised. First game televised. Good question. That's a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> Ten seconds. <laughs> Two and one. That's it. Time is up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Any time now? That's time. You get to ask. You get to ask who. Oh yes. I can. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pencils down, children. <laughs> Pencils down. Hands on heads. Uh, so, um, <laughs> what year? Uh, so with. Uh, well, since you're the only one in sporting attire there, Dan, let's see if you know uh, what the first Olympic Games first televised. I'm very uh, patriotic to my own city down here. I went to mm-hmm. Melbourne back in 1956, okay. just because I love Melbourne, so. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, all right. Uh, Justin? I'm taking it back possibly before TV was around, 1932. 32, okay. Oh, oh to get it. a bit early. Yes, okay. Josh? Well, I was thinking along the same lines as Dan. I also said uh, 1956. Oh. Um, I was just trying to think of around when TV started. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I noticed you didn't put a, uh, a city name down there. Yeah, I was uh, forgetting that part. I was more <laughs> concerned on the actual year. 
not the city. <laughs> Oh, I, know. I know, Melbourne's a big word. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> could have put M-E-L-B if you need to, but... Uh, Apparently uh, I'm physically incapable of pronouncing the word Melbourne. <laughs> oh. There's a place we won't be visiting for a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Except for Dan, of course. Oh, that's great. Come down and visit me. Oh, um, we love Melbourne. Melbourne's a big place. We love Melbourne. Just not, not in 2020. <laughs> Yes. Well, the good thing is we're catching up with Canberra because we, now we both have a curfew that's eight o'clock. Um, ours is just imposed for lockdown. So, yeah, that's right. That was such an Adelaide joke, but he targeted Canberra. <laughs> All right, Daz, come on, bring it home with us one night. I thought about Melbourne 1956, but I wondered if actually they had it before even then for 1952. Ooh. So that's what I went through. Okay, can I tell you one thing, Daz? Um, yep. Yes, you are correct in a way. Okay. It was uh, in a way. In a way. Uh, um, the next games were absolutely done. So Josh and Dan, um, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Melbourne you gets uh, the two points. That's it. Yeah, two points for that one. Um, speaking to, uh, to the first um, televised games. Um, as we're going to take claim to being the the first uh, AFL Grand Final outside of Melbourne. Mm. Mm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Too soon. I don't think the Tigers are going to be in the Grand Final anyway, mate, so don't worry about it. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. Hey, you're all thinking it, I just said it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That's all right. Mm. It looks like Richmond are really doing a bomber. <laughs> anyway, Justin. Okay. Uh, my question, I'm going to the iPad for this one. Let's go back to the United States of America. A bit of history. Sorry, Josh. Uh, which American president was assassinated by John Wilkes Booth? Which American president was assassinated by John Wilkes Booth? I think you've got about four, four or five to choose from. Ten seconds on the clock now. Daniel has just placed down the texter, I think. Yes, lids on, lids on. Five seconds. Mm. Mm. Time is up. Let's go to Daz Jokes. Daz? Okay. Well, I thought, you know, who was it? It was Lincoln in the Ford Theatre with the lead <laughs> <laughs> Right. Bonus point, please. That was good. That was and good. let's go to Keenan now. Captain America, this is your question. Yes, yeah, so uh, his wife said, let's go to the theatre tonight. We need to see this play. And he said, I need to see this like a hole in the head. <laughs> Abraham. Abraham Lincoln. It's two for Abraham. Daniel Braid. I am uh, going oh, three for three. Abraham Ooh. Lincoln. Yeah. Go so on. I'm now relying on Josh for the points now. Josh, what have you got for me? Right. Show me the points. I think it might have to be four for four, although I said M. Oh, oh, oh. So like, um, I had to kind of scratch question. out that M. But, uh, yeah. Four oh, for four. So it's not Amber here? Amber here. So yeah. technically <laughs> you're wrong there, sir. So, yes, well done, everyone. No, I <laughs> did it. <laughs> it was indeed Abraham Lincoln. So points for everyone no points. except Justin. Well Ooh. done. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, let's get a points tally. Uh, we'll say who was the carryover champion from last week. Oh, yeah. Oh, the carryover champion from last week. I wonder who that was. Was that me? Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to mention it. You know. But thank you. Uh, for, uh, more <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious he's but holding all the points for himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say it's still anybody's game, but Justin can't win from here. Oh, uh, <laughs> so, where's that leave button? There's a leave button. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, and our final host, let uh, lead us in our final question. There, Josh. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm Josh, and I'm the guy who kind of just ended up doing this thing one day. Um, yeah. I don't know if that's really. The best thing, but uh, I think I'll leave that up to everyone watching to decide. 
Uh, so Gosh, it's how yeah, we all got into I'm, trivia, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here in Canberra. I've been working with Daz regarding everything. Uh, you'll probably see me at Hellenic Club and Gungahlin Lakes when Gungahlin Lakes goes back, which will probably be some point in the next couple of weeks. So we'll see oh, what happens. Or has it already gone up? Or it's already just... gone up. One of the two. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? <laughs> I have a question uh, regarding science here. Um, for everyone, what is meteorology the study of? Say that word again. Meteorology. Media or meteor? With a D or a T? Meteor. Okay. With a T. Like, oh, watch your husband when something's a meteor. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a T bomb. How are we saying this word? Right? Me... <laughs> Time should be going as well. We've probably got like five seconds left. We've got eight seconds on the clock. Close enough. And three. Time's up, gents. Oh, all right. Let's find out the answers. Captain America. What did Steve Rogers say for us? Oh. First, first, I thought you said meteorological. Yeah, that word. Um, and I thought it was a study of midi chlorians in um, in Jedi's. Um, but then, after much uh, like clarification on that one, uh, meteorology um, is the study of weather. And mm. whether I spelled that right. Or whether I didn't, I don't know. You did. <laughs> it's spelt right. <laughs> whether or not. Oh, slipping the puns out. All right, let's go to Justin. Okay, so I went for uh, it's going to be sunny in Queensland and raining in Canberra weather. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it has been raining in Canberra recently. <laughs> oh, we love the rain. Rain's great. Uh, Rain's Daz, great. what have you okay. got? Well, you ruined my joke there. Thanks, uh, Kevin. But it was going to be weather uh, asteroids are going to hit the Earth. But weather. Ah. <laughs> when is that asteroid going to hit the Earth, Daz? Last week. Uh, Last week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, we're all dead. <laughs> yeah, it already, or it already has, yeah. And finally, Dan. It's probably going to be four for four. Ooh. Maybe. Uh, we'll well, see what I thought... I thought you said meteorology, so I said the study of 100 centimetre objects, because I thought you said meteorology. Uh, but also I wrote weather. I wrote weather. I wrote weather. Okay, I wrote weather. <laughs> you can only have one answer. I think Josh gets the point. So, no, like, which absolutely answer not. is that, Dan? <laughs> absolutely not. I protest. You know, I wrote weather. There you go. You wrote weather. Oh, yeah, yeah. Totally, totally. <laughs> well... Weather is correct, although we have no idea what Dan was doing. Like, with a study of 100 meter objects, I think that should be the proper answer. So that was like, you know, right there, in big letters. No, Dan, don't dare. Uh, <laughs> At least give me a point for comedy. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think, I think I've got what we really though. need to say is um, that uh, with meteorologists, um, they, they do bless the rains down in Africa, don't they, Dan? I've heard yeah. that. <laughs> I have heard that before. Daz, you have yeah. something you need to do now. That's right. Give the scores. So, uh... <laughs> oh no, let's not worry about the scores for this one. We'll, we'll do that next week. We'll do that next week. We have more. I don't think I can make next answers. week. By the way, did I mention that? I'm, I've got a busy schedule next week. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Fair enough. We'll, we might see Justin next week. <laughs> if not, anyway. So. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we'll miss you, maybe. Um, so I hope that you have enjoyed our content for to, today. If you have, make sure you like this. Tell your friends about it. Tell their friends. Also, support your local clubs. Also, the online. Make sure that uh, you you get there and you do the online quiz because that is so much fun to do. We need 100 people as well. Yeah, yeah. we want 100. Well, well, let's say 500 because that's a better number. But well, uh, yes. either way... <laughs> Either way, um, I've been Daz. Thanks to all the hosts who've joined us here tonight. We've got Josh, Justin, Dan, and Keenan. See you next time for Spartacus. Bye.